In this video we will see the constrained modes and bounding calipers features. The constrained modes will force calipers to follow the axis selected. Let's start with the constraint in X axis. As usual we set the initial and ending points by pressing our hotkey assigned to set the caliper points each time we click on the object surface. As you see, the resulting calipers are generated horizontally, following the X axis. Same thing for the rest of axes. They will be constrained to the axis selected no matter where we establish the ending points. Let's see now how bounding calipers work. Before pressing bounding calipers button we need to select the axis we want the caliper to be constrained to. For example let's use the Y axis and press bounding calipers button. As you see the caliper has been established automatically from top to bottom of the current subtool following the Y axis depicting the height of the bounding box the would contain it. Same way it works for the other axes. We can use them to easily represent the bounding size on any axis. If our object has several subtools we can use the visible or all buttons to calculate the bounding caliper for many subtools at once. The process may take some time depending on the number of subtools. This is a handy feature to set the initial caliper size and establish the scale of the scene no matter how many subtools we have. That's all for the basic features of the constrained modes. In the next video we will learn more about the calibrated size sliders and the bonus constraints features. Don't forget to give thumbs up if you like and stay tuned for more videos on hazardbrush.xyz. Happy calibering!